uh, it's fun again and um, today we're gonna talk about the new emblem change um, a lot of you guys probably are confused about what to what to go with the emblem set and probably doesn't even know what to do with this new emblem change so I'm here to explain a little about the new emblem change and then I'm gonna give you some suggestions and today's video is sponsored by Red Magic been a while but we're back here again Go to the phone, make sure to check out in the description about the phone. It's pretty perfect. If you if you love Android, this is a go-to phone. Anyways, let's get started. So first of all, they removed the jungle emblem, like as everybody knows. But the jungle emblem effect that everybody uses is Season Hunter, which is um, replaced by the second, second tier emblem that anyone can use, even if you don't have retribution. So that's uh, something to keep in mind. Alright, let's start with uh, common emblem. Common emblem. Uh, nobody uses it. Just like the physical magical uh, emblem, they combine it together. But it's, it's really nothing special. It's very common. Hybrid region, HP, adaptive attack. Uh, tank emblem. This is something you might want to consider if you're a tank player. Tank hero, if you're playing tank hero or if you're playing tank, tank jungler. Right? Because... If you look at it, it gives 500. 500 HP is pretty big. 10 hybrid defense, which means you get both uh, physical and magical defense. So it's very important. So this is this is a good emblem. I recommend this emblem. Uh, second is assassin emblem, adaptive penetration. Adaptive means uh, basically if you're an assassin that is using physical damage you get physical pen same for adaptive attack you get physical damage instead of magical damage but if you're using like Kadita or Gushin or using assassin emblem it's adaptive so you get magic pen and magic attack instead so which means both mage and uh, anyone any any um, hero can use this emblem uh, so a lot of like assassins are pretty much fixed with this emblem assassins just go to assassin emblem 16 penetration is huge movement speed is good attack adaptive attack is also good so if you need magic pen or a physical pen this uh this emblem is pretty good too uh mage mage emblem so this one's a lot a little confusing because some mages are better off with assassin emblem like gushin harley or kadita even and if you if you think about it maybe with the movement speed give and then penetration a lot of mages can actually go assassin emblem over mage emblem but uh if you think the cooldown extra cooldown reduction five percent and extra magic power that's 30 magic power so actually pretty big that's almost uh two book early game because one book is 18 magic power right so that's almost like 300 350 gold worth of magic power right here so this is actually not this is actually pretty good 20 more magic power than the assassin emblem but you get half of the penetration so you gotta decide which one you want to pick and fighter emblem i think this is really good emblem for fighters because you get spell them 10 percent adaptive attack and then you can also build it you can also use this emblem for guinevere because this is spell vamp unlike lifesteal and then you can get adaptive attack so you can get magic power if you use this emblem with guinevere so this is really good emblem actually fighter emblems might be really good emblem and support emblem i think this is the best emblem for roamers because uh if you look at it 15 percent healing effect cooldown reduction 10 percent 10 percent and 6% movement speed. That's like the highest movement speed ever out of all these uh, emblems. So roamers can use this pretty well. Um, and then I'm not sure if Claude and Glue's heroes are like that. Can go support emblem anymore because it's not HP regen. It's a healing effect now. Mm, I doubt it. Esmeralda maybe. But, and then Uranus maybe, but I think Claude is not able to build this I, this emblem anymore. So that's a that's an interesting change. 
Maximum emblem, attack speed, percentage, adaptive attack, percentage. So the more attack damage you have, the better. And then uh, life still, 5%. And then this get, allows Nathan to go actually maximum emblem. Because this is adaptive attack percentage and attack speed percentage, life steal percentage. Life steal means uh, it also works on the um, magic basic attack. So we are, we went through this uh, big emblem set, and then they're they're all it's just all about attributes. What uh, emblem you want to pick is about attributes. What's important? It's the core core emblems inside of the big emblem, right? This is core one, core two, core three emblems, and then these are you're probably familiar with. Most of these are emblems look look pretty similar to what we had before, right? Uh, let's look let's look into the first emblem set. Thrill, adaptive attack sixteen, sixteen adaptive attack. That's like um, uh, that's like a one dagger, one book. The 300 gold one attack speed extra hp penetration inspire firmness uh agility fatal and then i think what you need to what you need to focus on the first core emblem is um just these three actually agility uh rupture or vitality or cooldown okay four these four um i i i don't think anyone will ever use attack speed drill or firmness i feel like the i feel like the this five percent agility movement speed is way too broken so uh if you're tank hero then maybe vitality i still think agility is way better so um yeah agility rupture inspire vitality might be the one you want to go for but if i have to rank it i will always go agility on mage heroes except for a few exceptions like ling uh kadita then where uh maybe harris you might need cooldown reduction so, except for those few exceptions, I think most of the time you want to go Agility. Um, second... Second... Second tier emblem has... Life Train, Season Hunter. This is where um, junglers might need to uh, focus a little. Tenacity, Master Assassin, Bargain Hunter, Festival of Blood, Pull Yourself Together, Weapon Master. So from this, um, I think there, there are three, all these tier 2 items are pretty good, I mean emblems, except for life drain. Life drain I think is the most useless one, because it's common common emblem effect, <laughs> that one's pretty useless. But tenacity, if you look at it, you get 18 adaptive, both physical magic defense. Uh, when your HP is below 50 That's like you get a uh, one plate armor and one one uh, clock That um, gives the defense magic defense. So that's alright. That's around like 400 500 worth of gold if you're below 50 HP That's pretty good This one bargain hunter is like mr. Shop, but you only get 5% discount Everything is nerfed by a little right? For example, Season Hunter, 15%, but it doesn't uh, increase the damage on the turret anymore. And then, the, but this one has extra damage to the crypts, which is half of 15%, like 7.5 extra damage to the monsters. But so most of the junglers, especially Assassin or like, Especially non-tank junglers might want to build this for faster jungle clear. And then um, tank jungles also might need this, but this is not that big of a difference compared to the uh, old jungle emblem. So they might want tenacity as well. Uh, Bargain Hunter is pretty good for mage and a marksman. 
Festival of Blood is just like the just like the old uh, emblem. You might need this if you're like Benedetta or Guinevere. Weapon Master, I think, is pretty much you can both uh, increase physical and magic power with this emblem now, not just physical attack. But I think it's still pretty weak. Because 5% is... If you say, let's say you buy a BOD, which is 160 physical attack. Then you, that means you only get what? 8 extra physical attack. From one BOD. So... Uh... I don't know I don't know how to feel about this. Of course if it's a um, if it's max build then you get you get a lot more physical or magic power than that so it might be better. But I don't know how to feel about this one. Also high end dry is only 4% compared to what we had before like 8%. So this one is also a little iffy. What I think the best but still, still good emblems, good emblems, and I think you just uh, use it accordingly. I think if you're a marksman, I think Bargain Hunter might be really good. But you can also build Weapon Master if you're going like Beatrix or Granger or uh, or even Mage like like Faramis. I think Faramis can actually build this because you get a lot of magic power from the passive or Joy. But well, most of the time, I, I would recommend Bargain Hunter, Tenacity, or if you're a jungler, Season Hunter, of course. If you're Assassin, like Kadita, then Master Assassin might be pretty valid. Pretty valid. And I think the best one so far, if you're in this core 2 emblem, is pull yourself together. This one is just... Basically, you can use this, even if you're not a tank player anymore. 15% reduced... Active battle spells and equipments, active skills. That's pretty good. That means you can just uh, use flicker every 100 seconds instead of 120 now with any hero. And so, for me personally, uh, I would if I'm playing mage, I would only use this or bargain hunter. If I'm using jungler, season hunter, and tenacity, probably. If I'm Marksman, Bargain Hunter. If I'm Fighter, Festiver. If I'm Roamer, pull yourself together. I think that's what I would do. And third tier is pretty straightforward. Uh, Impure Rage, Quantum Charge, which was Electro Flash, Concussive Blast, Healing Spree, uh, Magic Worship, with Dark. It's all uh, ignition. Rave smite. This is a new one. Uh, this is um. This is a. Wasn't this the tank emblem that heals you if you CC someone? But it's really good now because dealing skill damage to an enemy restores five percent max HP, and it's only six second cooldown. And then you don't have to do damage the hero. You damage to minion crips. It works. That's why this this is so good. Uh, especially in EXP lane, you can sustain a lot better. And even I tried with the mage, I tried with Valentina once. Uh, and then Eve, I also tried with it. Oh, it's I never lost lane. All I needed was mana. But most of the time, I I'll probably go Impure Rage for mage or lit lit ignition if you're one shot hero like Kadita Saber stuff like that. Healing spree is good for you you if you're like Ling. Um, Roger, focusing mark of course if you're a tank or support, and then this is a new one, weakness finder, right? You can build this with Harith, you can build this with Hanzo, stuff like that. You can actually slow people now using the marksman emblem if you need them to be in one place. And you don't have to be a marksman to pick this hero, pick this emblem. That's the good part. Electro flash. I tried it with uh, marksman, and marksman junglers like Granger, uh, and it was pretty good. It was better than Killing Spree actually for me. So make sure to keep that in mind. I would recommend that emblem. I think this Quantum Charge is really good if you're a range hero. Range, 
Range Marksman Hero. I don't know about the uh, Assassin's Cycling. I don't I don't recommend it that much. But for Marksman, I think it's pretty good. Mm. So let me give you an example now. So for example, if you're a Gushin, I'll go like this. I'll go Assassin Emblem for sure because I need penetration and movement speed. I'll go Agility and then Season Hunter. Or Master Assassin. Or Bargain Hunter. But I, I prefer Season Hunter or Tenacity if I'm jungling. Because um, this damage, additional damage actually makes you clear away faster. Which is pretty, pretty juicy. I like it. And then for third one. You can go either killing spree or later ignition for extra damage or extra survivability. So just like that, you can you can uh, pick whatever you want, and then you can do that inside of the draft draft phase. So it's pretty useful. Pretty, I I really like this uh, patch now, where you can just edit your um, emblems in game. I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. And if I'm using Kagura or any other mage like Eve, I would go definitely a, a Mage Emblem. And then I'll go Agility. And then I'll probably go Valiant Hunter on this hero or pull yourself together. And I'll go Impure Rage, yeah, just like this. But if I'm going like Lunox or Kadita, I'll go Assassin Emblem and I'll go Penetration, High and Dry, or pull yourself together for extra Petrify. This might be a really good Emblem and Little Ignition. I'll go like this. And if I'm Fredrin. I'm not sure if Fredrin is still in the meta, but let's say, let's say this is Fredrin. No, I should find Fredrin. If it's Fredrin, I'll probably go Tank Emblem with Vitality or Agility, actually. Uh, tenacity or Season Hunter. Tenacity or Season Hunter. I'll say t Tenacity. And. Mm, this is tricky. Because Concussive Blast is really not that great, even if you're, you're a tank. So, I'll say the best one here... You can also go Impure Rage if you want, even if you're not Mage. Because if you look at it, it's Adaptive Damage, and if you don't have mana, restores 1 HP instead. So anyone can actually use this emblem. But I'll say Brave. Brave Smite is pretty good against with the Fredrin. Or concussive, or concussive blast. I think these two. Killing spree. <laughs> I'll I'll probably go like this. From jungle fredrin or it's season hunter if you want to clear fast. So it's really like a lot of choices that you can make. The big emblems, core emblems, uh, marksman, mage, assassin, those kinds of emblems, it's pretty easy to choose. You just gotta pick like before, like the emblems before update but those three emblems that you have inside the big emblems uh, you can always change inside of the draft draft phase that you want, what, whatever you want against enemy, like look at the enemy pick that uh, you think you might need a extra penetration then you go, you go rupture if you think you're already having um, you're going against a weak jungler that you don't need a faster clear, but you need you need defense because they're uh, they're like Fanny, they're like Ling Gushin, not Ling Gushin and Haya stuff like that. Then you go Tenacity. If you don't want to invade, Tenacity. If you want extra damage, Master Assassin. If you want to farm better, Bargain Hunter. But I'll I recommend pull yourself together if you're a mage or jungler. Oh no, if you're mage or roamer. If you're jungler, Season Hunter. Or tenacity. 
So, I think that's it for the em new emblem change. It's really not that confusing if you look at it, if you just read it through. Um, and there are pretty fixed emblems, I believe, that one can go. Especially the first one is agility is really OP, or penetration is pretty good. So, I hope this uh, guide finds you guys more insight about what to do with the emblems. And I will probably come back with another guide very soon. So, if you like this video and if you found it helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe, please. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to check out the new red magic uh, on the description. Thank you. Bye. Masarap.